This is Tim Starnes at CineSamples. I'm gonna walk you through a new product called Soundscapes. It's a bit of a departure from our symphonic sound, but I think it's going to inspire your creativity. Let's take a quick tour through a few patches. You're hearing the direct output of Soundscapes unaffected. <laughs> Some of these patches can be tempo synced to that of your DAW. We got a variety of patches including pulses, textures, one shots, pads, and all of them are controllable by the mod wheel for dynamics. It's a fairly lightweight library, but don't let that fool you. There's a lot of versatility inside. Keep in mind that some of these patches can get a bit CPU intensive, but I'll show you a way to curb that later on. Okay, here's an example of a tempo synced patch. As you can see, the density is set up for four grains per bar. That means four grains, four executions per bar. That means on the quarter note. Now I can raise that to eight grains per bar. So that's on the eighth note. You want a 
12 8 bar. Let's try that. <laughs> Here's another example of a tempo synced patch. All right, let's go a little deeper. Going back to this initial patch that I started with, Atlantis Pits. It uses a particular sound sample to create these sounds. Out of these sound samples, we got a whole bunch of categories, and then inside of that, samples for each category. This one happens to use the second electric pit sample. I could use the first if I wanted. Sounds like the Yamaha DX7. Or I don't even have to use necessarily <laughs> the electric pits. I could use something else like, uh, let's see, acoustic rhythmic. Uh, or something muted. Now, that right there isn't doing much, but I can move the playhead if I want to. Choose a different sample. Let's see. Let's try this, even go up here. Possibilities are endless. Now, once I have something like that, I can start using these controls down here. They have a whole nother, opens up a whole nother possibility. Now, I can switch this over from auto into defining my own attack and release, which is essentially how, how these grains are spread. Right now, at about 20 grains a second. I can increase that. Of course, it's going to increase the CPU load as well, but listen to the difference. And it's moving the playhead basically forward. If I don't want it to move forward as fast, I can lower the motion a little bit. Adjust the playhead position right here as well. I can even have the 
playhead move backwards if I want to. So going back to the Atlantis pits here. If I wanted this to fade in, I could use this. This is sort of like your ADSR over here. And this is the master volume, of course. Lowering the attack, obviously gonna reduce the volume. Okay, let's turn this one shot into a pad. All right, first of all, let's bring this playhead in a little bit so it's uh, in the middle after the start of the sound. Not much change, it's okay. All right, change the attack and release from auto to manual. I'm gonna increase the grains per second. And now, cool, getting there. And then I will just give a little softer fade in, so. Now you have a pad. Now I could go to any one of these ca uh, categories and choose a different sample. Start my playhead somewhere else. Move it backwards if I want. So the possibilities are endless, really. Let's move the playhead back here. Let's move forward a little bit. And the jitter is exactly, it's like the dancing around, basically. I can lower that a little bit and it won't do it as much. Or I can really crank it up. So it's really drawing from the entire sample to produce the sound. You have a choice of random or drift for both the jitter and pitch. Really increase it times 12 which creates a kind of a chaotic texture. Might be good for something. Okay. So, um, back here we got the effects page as well. So you can load up one, two, three, eight of these things with all sorts of effects that you want. You can copy and paste them anywhere you want to for any order you want. Stereo width followed by an EQ, followed by a diffusion delay. You can even bypass it. So here's width. If I bypass it. Of course, the better example would be to go back to that Atlantis Pits. Okay. Do that, back to the effects page. There's the diffusion delay. Take that off. So you can design your own. Delays, gain stereo width. I mean, there's a whole bunch of, of effects in here. Contact 6 uh, has a, a really good selection of them. Okay, here's something to keep in mind. Some of these patches, like I told you before, they really use the CPU quite heavily. So you can see this, the CPU count, you know, the voice count gets up there. And one thing that I found that helps a little bit with that with it is in the options in the engine, CPU, uh, CPU overload protection by killing voices. Uh, you could choose one of these if it's crackling. You'll hear that typical crackle sound, you know, if you're maxing out the voices. Uh, if you kick this in, that'll help quite a bit. Finally, I want to show you something really cool. Okay, let's start again with this one shot. Could be anything, any patch, doesn't really matter. Okay, gonna start with that. I can go outside and I've made this silly little wave file that sounds like this. Hello. Okay, great. I'm uh, gonna take that and all I gotta do is drag it in here. 
And now I can play with this as my sample source. Now, I just want to tweak it a little bit. Okay, that's a little bright, so I can go into the effects, for example, and lower the high frequencies. Maybe lower the mid-range. Okay, great. Now let's go back here. Can make a little pad out of it. Raise the attack, the density. Let's keep the motion about the same thing. Raise the random density. Uh, get a little bit of a softer attack. I mean, at this point, man, there's anything, anything's available for you to do. Let's increase the grains a little bit, all right, less reverse motion. your oyster you can bring in anything you want just make sure that wave file is the same uh, sample rate as your session all right i really hope you've enjoyed this tour of soundscapes with me if you want more information i got a lot more details on cinesamples.com 